So very pleased to have um, sourced another uh, 11 plate E350 CDI ANG Sport and this one has got the all important 7 seat which makes it such a great family car, so rapid um, with good economy too and we, we've just recently completed a 300 mile journey in the car and got sort of 48 miles to the gallon, we weren't hanging about either so um, looks bloody smart. Um, Let's give you a quick overview of the car first of all. It's finished in obsidian black pearl uh, with chrome trim around the windows and roof rails. This one's also got the roof bars. I've just fitted them so you can see them in this video. And the lovely squared off exhaust to the rear. LED style rear headlights and no marks on the bodywork. A um, few very light stone chips, etc., but nothing that you uh, wouldn't expect in a car of this age. So one thing we did do, we put a brand new grill on the car. There was this bit here was missing and we we're a bit fussy. So we got a new Mercedes grill, a new Mercedes badge to go on, which looks great, but Here's the front bumper, you can see it's in love in it. There's a very small mark right down at the bottom there. Um, but other than that, fantastic neck. LED headlights by, sorry, LED, uh, Xenon headlights by Xenon headlights. So high and low beam and Xenon, so fantastic visibility at night. Front sensors. And these are daylight running lights, one on each side. Wheels are in pretty good nick. A couple of very light marks. Uh, just put new um, general tyres on as well. General, part of the Continental group. Bloody good tyres. In fact, they're harder wearing than Continentals. I prefer putting them on a lot of things, especially front ends on Mercs, which seem to wear very heavily on the inside uh, edge. These last better than the Continentals. Nice top tip there. Uh, brake pads, uh, there's 50% left on the fronts, 70% left on the rear, so you've probably got 25,000 miles left on the front, and I would say 40,000 miles to the rear. Rear tyres are good. Um, this car also benefits from a full Mercedes-Benz service history. Quite a nice thing as well. Nice privacy glass all round. this wheel. Bit of a bigger mark on, on this wheel there. That's actually more just a bit of grease that would wipe off that one. <laughs> um, indicators in the uh, lenses there, in the sorry, wing mirrors. Just show the inside. The inside of this car is absolutely immaculate. So full black leather. See if I can brighten up a bit in there for you. Sorry, do excuse this slightly dirty footwell. Um, I've just moved the car from our storage. You can see it's done 91,557 miles, full history, serviced a month ago at Mercedes Benz Brooklands. <clears throat> Nav, command, heated seats, cruise control, paddle shift automatic wipers, automatic lights, everything you need, everything you'd expect. Cup holders there, storage in there. And the back, some of these can get absolutely ruined in the back. This is in really good neck. Always check the rear of the front seats because that's where the kids' feet kick them. Um, but this is, as you can see, absolutely lovely. And I don't know if you can see under there, it's got the uh, sort of ambient lighting throughout, which is a ni nice feature to have at night. It really, really um, gives quite a nice feeling to the whole car. Uh, 
black roof lining, don't know if you can see that. <coughs> and it's got the um, automatic boot, so just hold the button down. And it beeps and bongs and opens up. Now this is the key feature on this one. It's got the seven seats. I haven't um, folded the headrests up, but you can see there it's seven occasional seats, I would say. This is not um, seats for a 12 year old child, but good for your sort of five, six, seven year old kids uh, from school, etc. But such a useful feature to have on a car like this. Um, I have many happy memories of sitting in the rear seats of Mercedes as a child. And then it folds flat, and you've got a very big boot. If you want to make it bigger, you pull this little lever here. And you've got a vast boot space. Obviously this lifts out. So this is a load cover and a sort of luggage guard, dog guard, whatever you want to call it. No pets in this car, which is great. Just close the boot down. Have a quick look under the bonnet. Under here. It's a nice big turbocharged V6 diesel. Such great power. I can't remember, is this 245 uh, brake horsepower, I think. Um, can't remember, but yeah, it's a, it's a lovely thing. Um, Dries beautifully, very smooth, um, plenty of power, and relatively economical too. Let's go inside. So here we are, inside. Nice smooth diesel. There's the command system. various bits of information there, the service, next service is in 315 days and it's a B3 service. Um, there's the nav, um, and you can see we're relatively well zoomed out there. Um, standard controls here. Nav.